Hey YouTube world, Sean here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video for you. Um, it's in regards to the freshwater tank on our 2021 uh, East to West Alta. Um, this is the 2850 KRL uh, model. So the issue that I'm running into right now or have been running into is when you'd fill up the freshwater tank to go out dry camping, um, as soon as the water hit the top level of the tank and it came out the overflow, it would start a siphon and that siphon just wouldn't stop. Um, it, there wasn't anything to create a siphon break where it sucks air in. There's two tubes that come down from the top of the tank to that um, run water out of them, but neither of those were able to suck air in. So I decided to dive into it this year before our main camping trip um, and camping season starts to try to get that solved. So uh, I'm going to go through this video. I actually already made the repairs, but I'm going to go through the step by steps that I use to um, fix this issue and hopefully that helps anyone else out that's having this exact same problem. This isn't just on the east to west trailers, this is across the board on every manufacturer. Um, I was reading through tons and tons of forums and it seems like a lot of people have had this exact same issue. The big fix or the main fix that everyone has come to the conclusion of is just adding valves onto the bottom of each of the overflow lines and just opening and closing them when you need to um, fill the fill the tank up or use the pump. But I found that to be kind of a risk. If you forget to open or close those valves, you can um, risk exploding the tank or rupturing the tank when you're filling it, um, or you risk collapsing the tank if you don't open the valves up to allow air to come into it while you're using your freshwater pump. So here's the fix that I did. I'm gonna go through it again with the steps and uh, hopefully this helps anyone else out. So let's get started. All right, so the first step is finding where your freshwater tank is. Um, on our camper, it is located right down here. And so originally, um, if you notice, there's a, two blue hoses sticking down. There was actually three blue hoses. So this is my um, freshwater tank drain. This is at the bottom of the freshwater tank. So when there's, you know, when you're done with camping, you open that valve to drain all the rest of the water out. There was two other blue hoses that came down right here, and these were my overflow hoses. So this is where the issue lied, where once you filled the tank up, these would start running water out of them to let you know the tank was full. However, they wouldn't stop running water out because it couldn't pull air back through these lines. What would happen is the tank would start to collapse over time and it would just keep pushing water and pushing water and pushing water out of it. And suddenly we'd get to our camping spot and we'd only have like 30% water in there. So here's what I did to fix it. Um, I'm gonna post some pictures along the way that I took just so you can see uh, what the before and after was. So I'll go ahead and post a picture right now of what the before looked like once we dive in underneath this. So first thing you need to do, um, remove the fasteners that hold your underbelly on right here. Mine had some nails or had some like ram set nails in it. I went ahead and pulled those out, which they weren't too hard to pull out. And then I've actually replaced them since with some self tappers. But so we'll just pull this down really quick. So right away, you can see this is where the freshwater tank is. The actual repair made is right there. And so there was two lines that came down. Um, and they didn't run up, they just ran, they just 90 straight down out of the Coroplast underbelly. So that, now that you've seen what they look like before, um, this is the fix. So what I did was I replumbed them on one of the lines uh, first thing I did, I cut the lines off so I could unscrew the 90 degree fittings out. I unscrewed them and then on one of them, I added on uh, a plug. I just put a brass fitting half inch PEX plug in. And installed that one back in. And I, I just turned this one vertically up because it's not being used at this point. The second one, I replumbed completely. Um, I added 
obviously a 90 um, and then a T, which I want to mention really quick that the space between the top of the freshwater tank and the bottom of the floor is very minimal. There's only about an inch and a half to two inches of space between the, um, the tank and the floor. So it doesn't leave you a lot of room to install these parts. However, there's just enough to get the PEX lines up above the freshwater tank to help to break the siphon, which is what we're trying to do here. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze to get PEX crimpers in there. So if you can build some of the pieces outside and then install them in, that's the best option to do. If you look at my pictures, um, specifically, I built the 90 degree fitting outside and then I installed the T on the inside on the other line to conjoin them together. Run straight, a new line straight down out. As well, I added a ball valve onto this uh, drain line for the overflow. And then from there, I added another length of tube that I'll show you where it goes. It runs all the way into um, our pass-through right where the water pump is. So the reason why I added this ball valve on is because once we get this fix done, you can shut this off after it starts draining out water. Uh, once it's the tank is full and it starts overflowing, you can shut this valve off and you can transport it that way. And you don't, you actually don't even have to turn this valve back on at all if you don't want to, because the way it's fixed is there is an air inlet that'll continuously let air into the tank to prevent the tank from collapsing when you are using your freshwater pump. So let's get to that part next. All right, so inside our pass-through, um, right behind this cover is where our electrical and pump, freshwater pump and everything else is. So I've actually, made it really easy and this is a just another thing you could do is I've added cabinet ma door magnets on this instead of having all the screws that you'd normally put in there these door magnets just hold this flap on and then when you need to access it or if you need to access it you can just pull it off really quick so diving in here and though it's kind of dark this line right here this runs straight through all the way to where the overflow was, that overflow system. Um, it's only probably maybe two and a half, three feet. It's not very far, but there's already a pre-cut hole in our area right here to run this. And this will run basically, you can kind of see right through uh, the daylight right there, but this will run right next to or alongside the freshwater tank. And you can plumb right directly into that T um, off that overflow valve on the other end. So from there, I 90'd it over, and then I 90'd it vertical and ran it up to this crazy looking contraption right there. Um, so what that contraption is, is that is a irrigation um, drip air vent. So what, it's, uh, what it normally is used for is when you turn on your irrigation water, it allows the air to escape the line to pressurize the whole system up. Um, there's a ball, a check valve ball on the inside of that. So air can flow in and out of this unit. However, if water ever makes it up into this, uh, this valve, there's a little ball in there that seals up against a gasket to prevent any kind of water from escaping. So that's your fail safe and it's a mechanical fail safe. Um, nothing electronic, nothing that can really go bad, um, but it's a mechanical fail safe that water is not ever going to enter into this area because of that check valve ball. However, it does always allow air to continuously enter and exit uh, the freshwater tank. So you don't create any kind of pressure system buildup in the freshwater tank. As well, um, it allows you to use your pump when you're dry camping, not have to even, like I said, open up that drain ball valve right there um, for your overflow. And you can continuously use your pump and it's going to work like it normally should. So it's a really easy fix. I think I have like $40 in material, half inch PEX clamps. Um, there's a uh, half inch PEX to three quarter inch uh, female brass fitting that that screws right into 
and some miscellaneous 90s and Ts for half inch puck. So other than that, it's all fixed. I've tested this out. It breaks siphon once the tank is full. So a little bit will drain out until it pulls the air in and it stops siphoning as well. Um, the pump runs and it can pull air through there. And I don't have to touch anything down here. And um, at this point, once it's full, I can shut that valve off and not have to worry about the other, the other thing that can happen, which is called uh, slosh pumping. And what that is, is when you're moving down the road, the water gets to moving back and forth in the freshwater tank and it forces water or pumps water out of the overflow, which also is another way that you can lose a ton of water that way. So having this ball valve clo closed while you're traveling prevents any of that half from happening too and losing fresh water that way. But if you forget to open up the campsite, again, you have that vent on the inside that uh, will draw the air into the fresh water tank so you don't collapse your tank. So if you guys have any questions on this, um, what I've done, please don't hesitate. Leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below. I'll list uh, all the parts so you guys can see them. Here's a picture of the parts. I'll also list them all in the description of this video below. Again, it was a really easy fix. Probably took me oh, maybe about an hour, hour and a half to knock all of this out, to cut the old stuff out and re-plumb it all. Um, but very, very straightforward. Anyone can really do this. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Um, if you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel.